I don't know if there's a better combination than pistachios and coffee. It's right up there. It's a pretty good combination. Hey, y'all. It's me, Marty. Boy, I look fat at that angle. <laughs> well, I am chubby. <laughs> Need to lose some weight. I'm going to, though. In this new year, I'm going to really get active. Oh, yeah. Anywho. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy January 29th, 2024. Welcome to another video. Thought I'd do a little shop chat here and a shop tour. So I'm going to chat for just a little bit, just a wee bit. You Have you ever known me to, to chat for just a little bit? <laughs> well, I'm going to this time. I'm not going to make it real long, but just chat a little bit, catch up a little bit, and then I'm going to do a shop tour. So I have my coffee and my pistachios, and I'm up my shop, and uh, yeah. Decided to do a little video this morning. I'm, um, um, yeah. Just chat a little bit and I'll do a shop tour. I haven't done a shop tour in a little while. Um, well, I did a couple last year actually, but when I redid my channel, I didn't put them back on. So this is the newest one for a while, probably since I built my shop. Um, for some of you, it'll be old news. For some of you, it'll be new. Um, but, mm, mm, good coffee and a good cup. Prayer, prayer, pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5 17. Prayer changes things, it does. God wants to hear our prayers, <clears throat> and uh, you know, it's good to have like certain times to pray, you know, and uh. Prayer vigils or prayer, you know, things where you real get into intense prayer. But I, I like that scripture says, you know, I think we're supposed to be continually in prayer. And I try to do that all the time. I'm always talking to God um, from sun up to sundown. I am talking to him and thanking him and asking him for help and guidance and, and just thanking him for so many blessings for my salvation in him and for so many blessings in life and just for strength and hope and joy and peace and everything. So, yeah, we got good coffee this morning and good pistachios. So, I don't know if some of you have seen this, but this is, I don't know if I can show you this without tipping my pistachios, but it's a pistachio-shaped little bowl. <laughs> and I made it out of pistachio wood from my good friend Chris from California. When I was visiting him there, I actually visited him. We met up for a visit a couple of times. And he gave me some pistachio wood and pecan wood. Thanks again, Chris, my friend. I'm going to use some more of that. Uh, I'm going to work on some of it today. But I made this. I just I just downloaded a free uh, Google uh, clip art of a pistachio. Um, traced it on wood and I cut it out. And this is how I do a lot of little bowls and dishes and stuff. <clears throat> uh, you know, trace the shape. Cut it on your scroll saw. Then just a quarter inch in or half inch in draw another interior line, drill a hole, and then cut that interior out. And then cut another piece, the same shape, a different kind of wood. So I think this is poplar, or no, this is poplar or aspen on the bottom. And then uh, pistachio wood on top. And then glue it together, and you got a little dish. You got a little bowl. And I just thought it was kind of cool um, to make a pistachio dish out of pistachio wood. Really pretty wood. Oh, my goodness. Thanks again, Chris. Um, but, yeah. 
um where was i i don't know where i was but anyway happy 2024 so i've only done a couple of videos this year um and so if you're new to my channel welcome this is marty's ramblings it's just my life really there's not any special uh niche or niche or whatever you want to call it of my channel it's a lot of different things it's just me sharing my life i just like to share my life i enjoy making videos and i like blessing people um i hope i can encourage you inspire you most of all i hope i can help you smile uh life is hard life is so hard and in the world it's just a lot of chaos and a lot of tragedy and in our personal lives, life is hard, and but God is so good, and we're all blessed. And to focus on our blessings and focus on the good and help others in need and uh, take time to smile and, and help others to smile. So that's what I like to do. So, um, yeah, so welcome to my channel. And uh, if you're old or older or not new to my channel, <laughs> uh, you, you've been around a while, and I thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I've been doing YouTube videos for about 10 years. I had about 1100 videos, um, and I deleted it a couple of weeks ago, kind of silly. Um, but anyway, that's the past. I deleted the channel and, but I restarted it. Marty's ramblings again. So I hope, uh, if you were around before, I hope you found my channel again. And if you're new, welcome. And, um, so what I did was I re-uploaded about 120 of the best of the best of all my videos. And um, now I'm going to just start making new videos and uh, one or two a week, you know, just whatever I'm doing, whatever. If there's something that's uh, interesting that I'm doing that I just want to make a video and share with you all, I will. Um, and again, it's all different things on, on my channel. Woodworking, scroll sign, uh, spoon carving and other kinds of carving, uh, sign carving, uh, you know, boxes, all kinds of different things. I don't know anything really big and fancy in woodworking. It's mostly small stuff, but lots of different kinds of woodworking. But then also outdoor stuff. You know, I love hiking and the outdoors and canoeing and campfires and, uh, you know, all different things. Uh, and then I love music also. So it'll be uh, singing and learning to play my man mandolin and uh, family things, things with my wife and kids and friends and uh all different things. Uh, and again, I just, I have playlists too. So if you want to just watch one thing, go look at my playlist. So when you click on the channel, you could, there's a home button and then there's a videos button. If you click on videos, you can see my videos in order. You can go all the way back to the first one and they're in order. And then there's a playlist button. If you click on playlists, you can just watch woodworking or just watch canoeing or just watch goofy me. Check out the Goofy Me playlist. It's just weird because I'm I'm weird <laughs> in a good way, I hope. Anyway, it's just weird, funny things I've done and just being a goof, and I hope that helps you smile. So check out the Goofy Me playlist. But all kinds of different playlists, and just click on one, and you can watch a, a, a series of videos on just that thing. So if I, I'm i already up. I, I have quite a few playlists in there, so you can check that out. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoy my channel, and... Um, and I don't make money on it. I do it for fun. I work 70 hours a week as a truck driver. And, you know, so I just do it for fun when I get a chance. So I hope you're blessed by my channel. That's the reason I do it. So the reason I did it before, and that's the reason I'm doing it now. So I'm going to not try not to let people uh, give me advice and give me negative criticism and all the different things. And just, uh, yeah, just uh, make videos and share my life. And, uh, yeah, just... I know that uh, a lot of people are blessed by it, and I'm thankful for that. So, yeah. So, I pray you're all doing well. I hope you're having a great New Year so so far. Um, a few things that I have thoughts of the New Year. Um, I'm not one to have New Year's re resolutions or anything, but just a few things I want to do in the New Year. I'm praying for healing and uh, redemption and forgiveness for... Um, you know, for a lot of, for me, for a lot of our family and friends and just, yeah, I just pray it's a good year for everyone. Uh, last year was a good year in some ways. It was a hard year in other ways, you know, we lost a lot of loved ones and friends and, and, and stuff, but, um, challenges in the year, but some really good things too. And I think every year brings trials and blessings. Um, but yeah, I just pray it's a good year for everyone. And I pray for healing and forgiveness in a lot of, a lot of areas. Um, also, I want to really be active. I, I'm overweight and out of shape, and I just want to be active. And 
again, I don't like to exercise for exercise. I like to just uh, do things I enjoy, but it's an exercise. You know, I love hiking. That's my favorite exercise. And just doing canoeing, biking, and a little bit of running and, you know, just be active. And just, I feel better when I'm active. God created us to be active. So I want to do that more in this new year. And not a, and eat better and eat less and not a diet. I don't like diets, but just a better lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle. Anyway, um, yeah, and I want to, um, so scroll sign is my favorite type of woodworking. It always has been, but I've gotten into carving in the last few years, carving spoons. And now I'm starting to carve little caricatures. And um, yeah, that's, I got a lot to learn, but that's kind of fun. So I want to do more carving in this new year because it's something you can do anywhere. You just need a knife and a chunk of wood and you can do it anywhere. And um, I want to do more carving and um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to be home more, you know, as we get caught up on bills and stay ahead of bills and pay off debt. I'm hoping, praying that I can be home more. I've been trucking over about 22 years and, you know, I want to just, uh, yeah, be on the road less and be home more. And um, so I try to be out like a week and home a week. Well, I was just out for a few weeks at a time and that was hard, but um, I've been home for the last week and now my truck is actually in the shop and it's getting uh, oil change, just some ma regular maintenance, checking things and at least two new tires. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get it out today sometime and probably go on the road tomorrow. Um, probably California, those are good runs. So, um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, but um, that's kind of things in the new year I want to do. I might, I want to really uh, make time for family and friends, and I want to be used by God in whatever way He wants. And it may might be serving in my church. It might be um, in my family or community. It might be um, through my YouTube channel, through my Facebook posts. You know, you, God can use anything, and it's just really amazing how if we are open to it and we just let God use us and I just pray God can use me in different ways and on the road trucking and just little things and one you know how one by one I can bless people and help people and uh, that's what I pray I want to be used by God in whatever way he sees fit um, one moment at a time in the new year so that's just some things yeah nothing big just some you know thoughts and um you know, I have dreams and goals and things like that, but I just put it all in uh, God's hands. I really have given up dreams so much. I've been blessed. I've had a wonderful life. And um, good movie, by the way, Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, we never watched that this Christmas. Yeah, we didn't. We watched a lot of other Christmas movies, but we didn't watch that one. But anyway, you know, I love the Christmas season. I can watch Christmas movies throughout the year, and I usually do. I actually watch Christmas movies throughout the year more than I do at Christmas time. And, um, yeah, same with music, Christmas music, Christmas instrumental music. I listen throughout the year, but yeah, I know I went way off track there. I do that. I go off track and I go down rabbit holes and I just, you know, chasing that squirrel. Hey, there's a squirrel. And I just kind of go off. And I, that's just me. That's why it's Marty's Ramblings. I've changed the name of my channel a few times, but I'm back to Marty's Ramblings because that's what I do. Anywho. Okay, so I'm going to end the shop chat part of this video and do a shop tour. Because um, I pretty much caught up on stuff. Yeah, I'm, I've been home a week, uh, spending time with my wife, doing chores and projects and woodworking. and uh, Yeah, I'm going to do shop tour now. And I'm just going to go around the room and show you stuff. And I've had a few people ask me um, to just show more details of different things. So I don't want it to be a real long shop tour, but it'll be a little longer. So total, I'm going to try to keep this video under an hour. So... Um, but I know a lot of you enjoy it and shop tours are kind of fun, especially at the beginning of the year. Um, and right off the bat, I don't have anything fancy. It's a thrifty stuff, you know, used tools and budget tools and stuff, but I like it. And I built this shop myself and I'll show you a little bit about that. But, um, yeah, so let's get on with the tour. And so before I start, if you have any questions on anything in my shop or about my shop, uh, put it in the comments. Um, again, if you like my videos, please like them, give them a thumbs up and share them and please comment. It's fun to comment and, and to talk back and forth. And I try to answer comments and, um, I've made some friends through my YouTube channel, which is amazing, a blessing from God. And so, yeah, I want us to be friends and, and I just pray you like my videos. And if you do, please give them a like and, um, please subscribe and click the bell and then you'll get notifications for new videos if you like my channel, um, and all that. But anyway. Let's get on with the tour. Boy. Whoa, the lighting's really off there, isn't it? 
Uh, anyway, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see everything. I know people do shop tours in different ways, but that's the way I like to do it. I'd rather turn the camera around so you see everything and I'll just talk. Um, every once in a while, I might put the camera on me, but for the most part, I'm going to do it on the shop. Okay. Okay. Ah, let's do the wide angle. Okay. So this is my shop. Now it's still dark out because I got up early. I got like, uh, like five. So it's about 530 now. Um, it's still dark. So maybe if it gets light uh, by the end of the video, I'll show you the outside of it. Um, but this is my shop. <clears throat> okay. Let's start with the, this wall here. So this here is the south wall. That's the east wall. That's the north wall, and that's the west wall. So this is a 10 foot by 24 foot shop that I built basically out of scrap. And I'm gonna put a link to the videos of how I built the shop and stuff like that. I built it about, I don't know, four or four and a half years ago now. Um, basically out of scrap. Um, I was working for a company. I got a lot of uh, siding um, and plywood and windows and a door and, uh, yeah, I basically built this out of scrap. We had an old uh, garage at the back part of our property, and I tore that down <laughs> in early spring, and I dragged all the wood up up to my garage um, through the snow, and I used a lot of the two by fours to start the shop. Um, I built the or I bought the floor. It's a ten foot by twenty four foot floor from the company I was uh, working for. I was delivering sheds around Minnesota. <clears throat> bought the floor, but then everything I built else I built. So here is the south wall so you come in the door there and uh again everything i have is is pretty thrifty and nothing fancy so i'm not really going to get into brand names and stuff like that too much it's not really about that it's just kind of a thrifty shop and I, but i really enjoy it so we have the door here and then i have uh kind of my little audio visual area here i used to have more stuff but i brought it in the house because i didn't want it it was just getting covered in dust but i have an old sony boom box here <laughs> it's a am fm radio with a cassette deck um, boy, that brings back memories. You know, I used to, you know, make cassettes. And you know, if you're young, you might not know what cassettes are, but that's a cassette that's got tape on it and it plays music. <laughs> but I used to, oh, I used to make radio shows and music shows recording and I used to record cassettes off of the radio. That's what we did years ago. <laughs> you know, they have the top, top 40 is on and you put your cassette in there and you listen to the music and you record the songs you like. And yeah, anyway cassettes yeah boy that day to meet in it anyway so i have that here and i'll play cassettes and i'll listen to the radio um now youtube will flag my video if i have it on so i don't have it on right now but a lot of times i have the radio on or i'll listen to uh, uh music or podcasts from my phone and <clears throat> or play youtube videos or just have the radio on or play cassettes so that's that I have a boombox there. Just got a few things I make here. So this is Jesus Word. I scroll saw out of wood. That's one of my favorite things I like to make. Um, I love to make them and give them away. It's just a little design I made. And there's one of my favorite Christmas ornaments. This is actually made out of, so that's made out of poplar, uh, three quarter inch poplar. Um, this is made out of half inch Corian. It's countertop material. And there's a cross I made that's an old, uh, uh, I have a prayer cross I make, and that's an old style. Now I have a new style, but that's out of half inch Corian also. Um, <clears throat> and I have a couple of Bluetooth speakers there, a couple of cassettes, and uh, yeah, that's a cross my friend Mitchell made me on the scroll saw. So I had uh, our uh, youth group over uh, a couple of different times, and I've taught him scroll sawing and stuff. I like to teach scroll sawing, but he made that in scroll sawing, he gave me that. Then I have a shop board there, and just have different things, gifts that I was making at Christmas time, and orders and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll write things on there that I'm making. You know, I, every once in a while, I'll sell something, but for the most part, I just make gifts, um, and yeah. And I got a thermometer there, which I'm not sure if it's really working anymore. Uh, it says it's about... 17 degrees and it's warmer than that it's actually about it's, yeah i can't see my breath in here so i think it's about 32 33 it's about freezing anyway i got a little phone stand there just a little one i'm i started making those uh it's a cell phone stand i just it's like a one by three and i just ran it through the table saw and then i put like a cut a notch in there and it holds my cell phone so i have that sitting in the corner there and i can charge it <coughs> And yeah, I got some band-aids there and some hand sanitizer and anyway, yeah. So this is kind of that area there. Um, this is my table saw. 
Uh, nothing fancy. It is a Craftsman 10 inch. Got it for 50 bucks on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Really, you can get some really good deals on used good tools. And I'll talk about more of that as we go along. But yeah, that's a Sears Craftsman 10 inch table saw. Very heavy duty. The fence is horrible though. It just doesn't work real well. Um, so I'd like to get a new table saw someday or not a new used one. I'd like to get a Delta. Delta is like my favorite brand of tools. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Those are some signs I'm working on for our church. Um, but yeah, there's a, a wood a tool, tool tote that I made years ago. Marty the Handicraftsman. Nothing fancy. I got a couple of scripture on there, but that's something I use if I'm going to go work on stuff. I just throw some tools in there and I can take it someplace. Um, I actually used that yesterday. It was, I built a table for our sound booth at our church and I used that to put tools in and brought it to church and we installed it yesterday after church. Anyway, that's my table saw. And this way, well, that on this wall. So, I think with everybody, it's the same. Uh, your 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 wood shop is always changing. It's always uh, kind of just it kind of flows. It ebbs and flows. Is <laughs> that's what I say? I'm always changing things. I like to organize and clean and like make things work better. So every once in a while, I'll just change things up just to make it a little bit different and better. Um, and I'm always organizing. I still have a lot of things I want to do in my shop. Um, and this is, so I've been woodworking for over 30 years. And uh, I don't know how many, this is my like 10th shop as we've moved around, bought places or rented places. Um, we bought this hobby farm uh, in West Central Minnesota about five years ago, almost five years ago. And we love it out here. And I built the shop, but I've had other shops or different places we live too. And and um, I'm always just, you know, kind of working on them and stuff. So there's a lot of things I still want to do on this shop. Um, but I'll show you that as we go. So, yeah, this wall here, I, I need to do some more organizing on here. But basically, I just have a lot of sander stuff. I got a rack there that holds sandpaper. I got some measuring tools, uh, kind of orbital sander. This is just bins of uh, sandpaper. <clears throat> Down here, I have a whole bunch of router bits. I have routers, but I've never really used routers too much. I've used them to carve signs and round over things on, but I haven't used a router in, in other ways. And I have lots of different router bits and different things, so I want to learn to use a router, and, router in other ways. But some other patterns and stuff for making signs in the corner there. There, I got my Craig jigs, my pocket hole jigs for doing pocket holes down there. So, yeah, I want to organize that area more, but... Yeah, that's basically the <clears throat> the south wall. Um, as we're going around here, I have a very large, heavy-duty uh, drill press. And uh, the Duracraft, three-quarter inch drill press. Um, my friend Don gave me that. Works really well. It's a really heavy-duty one. Um, I got a Forrester bit in there I use for uh, either drilling holes for like... Uh, tea light candles like candle holders or for doing these little uh clock little mini clock and photo frame things and i actually made some memorial ornaments and i used that bit to cut the hole for the little picture frame it's a little mini picture frame but yeah there's that um and then we'll go along the west wall here so <coughs> This is my sign carving desk. A few years back, I started carving signs, and I learned to carve signs by hand. Now, I'm really big on handcrafted, okay? And I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but I'm not crazy about uh, machines that do things that aren't handcrafted. <laughs> and it's not, I'm not, it's nothing against these machines or people who use them, but like lasers and all those different things, you know, where you just put a program in and push a button. And I don't consider that handcrafted. I don't even really consider it woodworking, but that's just my personal opinions. And I'll share my personal opinions, but don't attack me. It's just my personal opinions. And I like handcrafted, made by hand. Um, you know, you can use tools to make things by hand, but I don't like yeah, and a lot of those things can be used for good things, though. Uh, you know, like the laser, there's some really cool things you can do with a laser. I just don't like to use, I don't like when people use a laser to replace a scroll saw and things like that. Um, but there is some amazing things you can do on a, on a laser that you can't do on a scroll saw and other things. Like my friend uh, Robert has made some amazing things on his laser, and he's given me some things, and he actually made me some little wood business card hole business 
cards, basically. They're like wood coins with my uh, my channel uh, sticker emblem on there, which he made me. And he made me a whole bunch of those. And those are amazing. Blech. Amazing. Thank you again, Robert. And I love them. So I've been giving those out. So those are really cool. So that's something you can't do on Osa. So the laser has its place, but I just wouldn't put it in the handcrafted area. But um, so I like to do things by hand, you know, whether it's hand tools or using tools to handcraft stuff. And a few years ago, I started uh, carving signs by hand with a router. And um, I learned from uh, Eric Roten and his dad, Dave Roten, who passed away a couple years ago. Um, and they have a YouTube channel, Old Dave 100, or Eric Roten. Check out his channel. And he teaches how to hand carve signs and make signs with a router. And uh, they sell these base plates that you mount on your router. And um, you can hand carve signs. It's really cool. And yeah, you can do lasers and CNCs and all those things to make uh, signs. But I like to do it hand carved with a router. And it's really kind of cool. That's my little ramble on that. So this is my sign carving desk. And I have a short stool I made under there. Um, and I'll pull that out and sit here because then I'm eye level. You know, I can sit like this and I can hand carve a sign. <clears throat> I do a, some of these Jesus is a reason for the season signs um and here's my rigid router <clears throat> which broke <laughs> last year i think and i still haven't replaced it so i need to get a new one or see if i can get this replaced it worked great for a few years and then the motor just died but um but yeah it's a, that's a base plate from eric roten and you can buy them from them you can make your own but he sells them and you mount that on the bottom and then you just you know you use it the handles and you hold it that way and you can carve it and it's basically like writing writing on wood and you can carve signs that way so check out eric roten's channel uh their family is wonderful and he teaches how to carve signs and that's so that's my rigid <clears throat> and that's what i'll use to carve the signs um lots of different other accessories here for carving and stuff um but i also have an old craftsman router there basically i use that one just for the edges to do the profile on the edges of signs um, uh, then a friend of mine in our church, <coughs> um, last year or last year or the year before, um, he, because of health reasons, he had to get out of woodworking. So he gave me a lot of tools. He actually gave me that Craig jigs down there, the pocket holes, uh, pocket hole jigs. Um, and, uh, he gave me those and he gave me a couple routers and some clamps and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, he gave me that. And I believe that's a Bosch. That's a, a larger Bosch router. And then also a small, I think this is just a skill one. I just mounted this in here so I can round over things kind of like a mini little router table. I'd like to make a better router table with, you know, a good router in there someday. But I have that just as a mini side thing on this. Um, but yeah, I have a few routers and this is my sign carving desk. Lots more stuff in here I got to organize. Um, router bits and router accessories for carving signs and stuff. But yeah, I'd like to learn to do more with a router because there's a lot you can do with a router. And then on the wall here, just, just a bunch of stuff. I got uh, built bits. I need to figure out a better system for drill bits, but that's that for now. <laughs> some more sign carving stuff, other drill drill accessories, some painting things, scrapers and tape and uh, sharpening stuff uh, up there rags and some little, little cones and stuff for painting and staining and stuff um and then some templates for doing cribbage boards and uh peg games and marble games um and that yeah <clears throat> i have a little vice here nothing fancy but a little one i like to get a bigger bigger better vice someday um and this is a bin of spoons that i carved and i'm gonna sand all those so those are all ready for sanding Okay, then we get to my little sanding station here. So I have, so basically almost everything in my shop is on wheels. So it's easy to move and to clean and to rearrange. Um, and I have this cart here um, and it's on wheels. And it's basically my sanding uh, grinder cart, I guess. So basically I have two grinders back here. Um, and then I have a small Craftsman one inch by 42 inch sander here. Um, and this is, works really good for sanding spoons and small things. Um, and then I have this here, which is a motor from an old scroll saw. <laughs> and I mounted on that and put a drum sander on there. And I kind of use that for 
doing contouring sanding for like intarsia and stuff. So that works kind of good for that. And then I got a central machinery. I got this from Harbor Freight. A little bench top sander. I use this mostly for all, doing all my little scroll saw stuff. I'll sand stuff on here. Um, then I got a couple of hand grinders under there. Um, which I, I don't use any of my grinders very often. But now I got a couple other tools back in there that I'm not really sure what they are. But I was given those. <laughs> <laughs> as we go down the wall here um so i have a little stand here uh or a cart and another one on wheels and as i make things on my scroll saw and you know other things i'll put them here and so these are all ready to sand um so this is kind of my sanding cart i guess so i have a whole bunch of different things i have prayer crosses a couple of wood mallets parts for making uh brain teaser games um some nativity scene pieces um, different Christmas ornaments. I got my 3D reindeer I like to make. I love like, making those on scroll saw. Christmas ornaments. I make these smiles uh, and uh, different things like that. Different word art. Jesus words, joys, hugs, peace. I, I, I'm really big on making uh, word art. So again, I really like scroll sign. Um, and I'm a little different. I, I'm not one uh, to... Do what everybody's doing. <laughs> I, I I just, uh, I beat my own drum. I, I walked to a beat of a different drummer. I'm a different woodworker drummer beat thing. No, <laughs> that sounds weird. No, but I, I you know, a lot, of, a lot of woodworkers are doing the same thing. You know, they patterns and designs that everybody's doing. And I'm just, I don't do a lot of that. You know, I like to do my own thing. I like to make up my own patterns and just do different things. Again, I like to do scroll sign and word art, make different word art things and messages in wood that way. Um, and um, so I like to make up my own patterns and I will use other patterns. I, again, I have hundreds, I have thousands, probably a hundred thousand patterns. I got tons of patterns and magazines and books and all, all kinds of patterns. And I will do different things now and then. But even if I do something that everybody else is doing, if it's a new design or pattern that I get in the magazine or wood book or whatever, um, I'll tweak it. I'll, I'll put my own spin on it. I just like to be unique. And um, so I'll do something a little different with it. And I'll, you know, and I've done that. Um, so I'll, I will do designs, you know, that other people are doing too. But I like to do my own thing and just be unique. So, yeah. So, yeah, those are some of the things I like to make. And I like to make a lot of these and stock up on them. I have a hobby room in the house that I'll, I'll do a video on sometime. And I have all the things that I've made out of wood. I have them on shelves in there just ready to sell or give as gifts, mostly to give as gifts. Um, and some of these small things I just like to have a stock of. So I'm uh, we gave a lot of these away at Christmas time. So I'm making a bunch of these and I would make everything by hand. Each one is made by hand and I may, might use a pattern that I got or a pattern I made, but each one is a little unique and a little different. Um, so yeah, that's just stuff I've made on the scroll saw and they're ready to sand. So yeah, a couple things there I gotta fix. And this is a card I made, um, another one, a short one on wheels, because a lot of times I'll be making a building something and I'm on the floor and I'm 57 years old. I'm just getting kind of old to be building things on the floor. My workbenches seem like they're always full of stuff. I don't have a lot of room in here, but so I made this just a small one. It's like two foot by two and a half foot and it's low. So I can wheel this around. I can pull it out here and I can build things on it. So it's just kind of another small workbench on wheels that I can move around. Um, so yeah. Okay, working down the line here on the west wall. I have a shelf here of accessories, pens and pencils, rulers, post-its. I got carbon paper, uh, uh, yeah, compasses and different things. I got some pictures. I like to make my shop homey, so I have pictures and uh, different things on the wall. Just kind of fun. I love the Christmas season, so I oh, that's just some postcards or Christmas cards um, I put in a frame. I got one of my favorite scriptures there. We've got all things are possible, Mark 9.23. Um, and that's a scroll saw shop sign I, I made years ago. And then I just have a shelf here, just some different things. Those are a couple of things my friend Don Wood turned. I do have a video on my channel of him turning, actually turning that lighthouse, I believe. He does wood turning, lathe work, so it's kind of cool. And some Fleet Farm and Menards, <laughs> cars and trucks up there. This is actually an antique moto scroll saw, Dremel moto saw. It says high-speed electric scroll saw, and it's basically a handheld 
coping saw and yeah and it, it, it's electric <laughs> one of the first ones there i got an old antique a wood burner got a couple of old saws hanging up there and then i have patterns so um most of you know if you don't um i if things that i make a lot of or uh things i'm going to make a lot of or simple patterns i will make uh templates and these are all templates made out of uh eighth inch hardboard and that's what I do. I'll make the patterns and then you just trace them on wood. You don't have to mess around with uh, the patterns and glue and adhesive and tapes and whatever. It's just the way I like to do it. So I make a lot of patterns and I have them all around my shop. They are hanging all over. <laughs> I've made hundreds of patterns. And then you just take the pattern and trace it on wood and you're done. There's nothing to remove or change. So I have tons of patterns hanging all over of different things I like to make. Most, most of these are simple patterns. Um, you know, I do use paper patterns and I'll, I'll put them on wood and, you know, and do that. But I just like to make the templates because it just makes it simpler. You know, things like this, cutouts and puzzles for kids. You know, you just, you just trace them and then you're done. So I do that with a lot of things. And years ago, and I still do. I like to make names, um, custom cut names on the scroll saw. That's my scroll saw. And um, so I have, uh, I've made a set of lettering templates. And you just take the letters and you trace them on wood and you can spell anything. Um, now that's not the only way you can make a name, you know. So you can also take your computer and just spell a name. A name or a word and spell it on the computer. And then you can resize it. You can change the font and just... You print it off, and then you have a paper pattern you can put on wood of any name. I just like to use those. So those are those, the template I templates that I made. It's just a hobo font. I don't know where I got it years ago, and it's like two and a half inches tall. The letters, and I cut them out of three quarter inch or one inch wood, so thicker wood, because then the names will stand up on their own. So that's how I like to make names. Um, but I also have done other done other ways too. Just typing it out on a computer and printing out the pattern. So there's a couple of different ways you can make names and wood, word art. So yeah, so I am rambling a little bit more than I usually do in a shop tour because people ask me to just show more and get more details. But yeah, that's a lot of my patterns. And these are all so, some things I make a lot of. I have a template for my 3D reindeer, prayer crosses, pocket crosses, my Jesus word and hugs. Uh, that's a stand-up Jesus lives 3D pattern. Um, and then Christmas ornaments I've made through the years. <coughs> and that little Jesus cross one, that was the one I made this, this past year for 2023. So, yeah, that's kind of that wall. Over here I have a, uh, a Christmas mug of scroll saw blades. <laughs> then I have some Johnson paste wax there that I've had for like 30 years. There's still paste wax in there. It's lasted. <laughs> and I use that for my tabletop on my scroll saw. Um, I will clean them every once in a while because they get roughed up and rusty. Um, so I will sand the tops really nice and smooth. And then I'll put the Johnson Paste Wax on there. Works really well. It makes it clean. It kind of keeps it sealed up and nice and smooth. Um, and then I have some clear packing tape there, which I put on the back of hardwoods. And it just helps cool the blade. And it makes it so the wood doesn't burn. It really works. And here's the thing. Don't buy cheap tape. Y'all know that. Watch my video of making a wood name years ago. <laughs> and I had problems with the tape and it got stuck all over. And it's, it's funny. It wasn't meant to be, but it ends up being funny. So don't buy the cheap tape. You, you want to use the good tape. It might also be operator error. I mean, I, it's just me. I can't, I can't deal with things. So I was having problems with the tape. I had a lot of problems. I just, I, sometimes I just do. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a few things there, a few accessories. Okay, here, I'll show my scroll saw now as we go down the line. So this is my Delta 18 inch scroll saw. It's the 4601. If you're wondering right there. Delta is my favorite brand of tools, um, and I really like them. I think they're built really well. Um, and so I change scroll saws from time to time. This one I had for years, and then the motor started acting funny, so I took it out, and I had a different scroll saw in here. But now I got this one back in here, and uh, it works really well. It's variable speed. Um, it's a digital readout. It goes up to 2,000 RPM, I think. I usually have it around 1,600 or 1,700. Um, I have a foot pedal. And a shot back, and I just push the 
push the pedal and it comes on. It works really well. I really like this one. Um, I really, really like the Delta tools and I really like the Delta scroll saws. Um, I actually have a, well, I have four other Delta scroll saws in my garage. <laughs> my garage is right next door or our garage. My wife and I's garage is right next door. She has her Jeep in there. She stores, you know, parks her Jeep in there. And on the other side, we have our tractor and snowblower lawnmower. Um, but it's also, it's become the extension of my shop. <laughs> it's kind of like my shop annex. And I have extra scroll saws in there. I, I, I buy scroll saws on uh, Facebook Marketplace, used ones, cheap. Fix them up, clean them up. They work great. I'm going to talk more about Facebook Marketplace and buying used things. Um, but I have extra ones in there. I like to have 8 to 10 scroll saws because I like to teach it. And I've taught it in a couple of schools. And I like to teach our youth group scroll saw and stuff. So I like to have a lot of extra scroll saws. It's nice to have a backup one or two anyway. But I like to have some and keep them running and have them. And I have a few I have to work on and fix up. But um, I like to have them for teaching whenever I have the opportunity. So my shop annex is next door in the garage with more scroll saws and wood and other things. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I really, I think I'm a big one on buying used things. Okay. So if I have a hundred bucks and I want a scroll saw, I, I don't like the new scroll saws, even the more expensive ones. Um, if I have a hundred bucks, I'd rather go on Facebook marketplace and buy a used scroll saw for a hundred bucks. And you're getting a scroll saw that's still worth three, four or 500. So you can get something better that's used than buying brand new cheap. That's just my thing. And I, Facebook Marketplace has lots of great deals. A lot of people practically give away scroll saws because they don't use them anymore. Or they don't know what they can do with them. Um, there's lots of great deals on Delta scroll saws and other scroll saws on Facebook Marketplace. So if you want to get in the scroll sign, that's what I encourage you to do. Instead of buying a brand new cheap one, buy one on Marketplace that's in great condition still, but it's it's a good price. I really like the Delta tools. I love the quick release blade holder here. It works so well. That's it. Once you get it set in the tension and everything, you just put the blade in there. Look, I could do it one-handed. You put the blade in there, and you, that's that. That's how it holds. I love these blade holders, and uh, so I have one on the bottom and the top on this scroll saw. I don't like the newer. I don't like the thumb screw. The thumb screw blade holders. I know that's what most scroll, scroll saws have. Have this. Blah, 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 I can't talk. That's what most scroll saws have nowadays. I'm just not crazy about those. Um, because you, you turn the thumb screw and I have arthritis and carpal tunnel in my hands and it's just hard. It's all dependent on the, the, uh, how tight you can turn it. And I just don't like this. These kind, you just flip it and it's, I love these blade holders. I also like the, the tensioning arm here. It just flips up like that and you can do a fine adjusting here, but this works really well. I like this better than others. Um, and then I put this big knob on here for adjusting. This is this, the dust blower that goes up and down. Also, I don't have a blade guard on here. I'm not telling you to take blade guards off, but every scroll saw I've ever had, I take the blade guard off right away because it gets in the way. I am very safe. Um, and even when I teach scroll sign, I, I just, you know, teach people to kids and adults to keep your fingers away from the blade and just be careful. A blade guard is hard to see the blade. It's hard to see where you're cutting and it just gets in the way. So that's just what I do personally. But anyway, that's my Delta scroll saw. I currently have in my shop. I really enjoy it. I like the Delta tools right here. I have a shelf of accessories for my scroll saw. So I have a little Dremel drill press here where if it's a Christmas ornament or other things where I do inside cuts, I can do it right next to the scroll saw. Um, so it's just a little mini drill press and I have a little extension light here. Um, it's on. I should turn off. My friend Mike gave me. Thank you again, Mike. My friend Mike from St. Louis gave me that little extension light. Um, and then I made a little blade holder here out of some PVC and a piece of oh, Paduke, I think it is. I don't know. Paduke and Popper. Anyway, simple little blade holder. The main ones I use, basically number five. Flying Dutchman or Olson. I also use number three for really thin wood. And number seven for thicker wood, but basically just the number five is my main go-to blade <clears throat> that I use. And then some other accessories, pens and pencil, little pliers there, earplugs, a little, uh, uh, what do you call that, nail set I'd use for a punch thing and pencils and a uh, little blade and racers and little different things for accessories for a scroll sign. And I have a little bin there that I put my 
cutoffs in as I cut. Um, so yeah, keep going down the road here. There's a teacher. I like to make the teachers. Another thing I make on this girl stuff. Um, there's my shop stool. Shop stool. I got it elevated there, so it's the right height. And a shop apron. I'm gonna speed up a little bit here because I got to get ready to go get my wife from work pretty soon here. So anyway, uh, and I have some different things on the walls here. Again, I like to have pictures. These are things that uh, my uncle Don and Grandpa Mord made um, years ago, and they got me in the scroll sign uh, 30 years ago. So I have some of their things hanging around. So I got paper towels and Kleenex hanging here, a little mirror. Hey, y'all, it's me, Marty. <laughs> that's my Uncle Don, and that's my Grandpa Mord. Uh, they got me into scroll sign years ago. Um, there's a picture of my honey, my wonderful wife Marilyn gave me. I got a pencil sharpener. These are all things I have stacked here, ready to cut on the scroll saw. Pieces of wood I have traced out, different things. Um, and that's a Sears Craftsman 18-inch scroll saw. That was my very first scroll saw. So I have that on a shelf here. And I have my Grandpa Moore's jacket and tape measure suspenders that I got when he passed away. Um, a few birds that Uncle Don made. There's a cardinal. That's a finch, maybe. I'm not sure. And a blue jay. Um, and a couple other things that Grandpa Moore made. Some different little crafts. This is a toolbox that my dad had, and a flashlight, and a screwdriver. That's all I have, really, of my dad's. I wish I would have got more of his stuff when he passed away, but a few things of his. Um, and as we go down the west wall here, this is my little library here. Um, and I have a lot of books and magazines. So this is Creative Woodworks and Crafts, uh, Scroll Saw Magazine I used to get years ago. I don't think they make it anymore. You can still get back issues, but... Lots of great patterns and ideas for scroll sign. That was the first magazine I got years ago. Then the second one, they came out with Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts. Another great magazine. That's the two Scroll Saw magazines that I had subscriptions for years ago. I have a lot of older magazines. Um, actually, my wife just got me a new subscription to Scroll Saw Workshop. So I get that in the mail now. And then I have lots of other wood magazines down there. Wood Magazine, uh, American Woodworker. Uh, oh, a whole bunch of different handyman, all different other woodworking magazines. And then I have some different books, you know, kind of home maintenance books and different things. And then lots of woodworking books, all different things. A whole bunch of scroll saw pattern books. <clears throat> and then I got stacks and stacks and stacks of patterns and I have binders of patterns and yeah so i have lots of patterns even though i don't use tons of them every once in a while i'll do something new but it's nice to have patterns and ideas but i do a lot of the same things and i again i make up my own patterns and designs too coming down the wall here i have another old saw up there i have tim taylor from home improvement there that's a puzzle <laughs> in a frame real men don't need instructions but it is good to read them once in a while i'm just saying and I got a little sticker wall there, not much, but a few stickers from people. A couple of just wood signs there. I just jotted down a different, some of the Marty-isms that I say. <laughs> then I have a little shelf there of uh, gifts that uh, friends and viewers have made, things that they sent to me, and I really appreciate different things people have gave me. So thank you again, all my friends through my YouTube channel. Some different things they made, a little display shelf of different gifts. I have a lot more in the house too, but... And this is just my corner chair here uh, with a couple of little shelves on the sides where I can sit here and drink coffee and eat pistachios, read my Bible, um, think about different things I want to make. And uh, yeah, kind of just a place to sit and rest. Okay, now we're down to the south wall. Or no, sorry, north wall. And this one's a work in progress and it's been a work in progress for quite a while. So I need to redo this wall and this wall. So this is my hardware wall. All kinds of hardware and screws and nuts and bolts and nails and uh, craft supplies, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to redo this wall this year. Um, that's By the way, that's one of the first signs I ever carved. Uh, Marty's Ramblings sign. Um, but I'm going to redo this wall. I'm also going to redo this wall. This is all my hand tools and some power tools and clamps. I'm going to redo that wall also. I'd like to do a French cleat system. And my friend Andy from the UK who watches, hey Andy, 
Um, I want to do an Andy cleat system. That's what I'm calling it. He did some videos of uh, French cleats that he did. Um, and he did a really great job. You did super Andy, so I'm calling him Andy Cleats. <laughs> I want to do a system like he did. So uh, check out his channel. Check out channels of uh, my, some of my viewers have really good channels. I'll, I'll see if I can link them to this video, but check out their channel. So yeah, Andy's channel is the, the Wood Gnome. So check him out. Um, but yeah, he did a really neat system. I want to do something like that this year. So I want to do French cleats for my hardware and uh, craft supplies and a lot of my power tools, hand tools. Um, yeah, do, for these. So these two walls are a work in progress. So yeah, that's all that there. That's all that there. I'm gonna go, not gonna go through all the hardware and stuff. It's just hardware. But yeah, I got lots of clamps. I got some power tools and hand tools, uh, different things I use. Uh, this is just kind of a. I got to organize this better. Just I got boxes of stuff, and I got an extra stool. I got another shop back and a fan. That's kind of that corner. Nothing special. Um, and I got workbenches in the middle, but I'll show you that in a minute. Let's get over here, the rest of the east wall here. And again, this east wall is against the garage. So this is my miter saw station. Just have a Hitachi, oh, is it a 10-inch, I think, miter saw. I'd like to get a bigger, better one someday, but that's what I have, and it works well. This is my miter saw station here. Um, works well for cutting long things. And if it's extra long, I can go right out the door or in through the door as I bring things in. And, yeah, I have a lot of wood, a lot of cut-off small wood that I use. Um, I try to keep every little piece because there is no scrap. Even the smallest piece of wood can be used for things. And this is kind of a cut-off bin of things that I'll use for pieces for intarsia or making just, you know, little pocket crosses and rings and jewelry and all kinds of different small things. So I don't, I keep almost everything. I have bins here of all the different wood I have, small pieces. So I have walnut, maple, yellow birch, cherry, mahogany, alder, aspen, box elder, ash. I got Brazilian walnut down there, cedar, abachi, pine, poplar, oak, lots of wood. Some bigger boards here. Um, I get most of my wood from Menards, my favorite store. whole bunch of cutoffs here and pieces and stuff. I'm um, working on, that's going to be my... Christmas ornament for 2024 I made. I just made up the design again. So working on a yellow birch cribbage board for my wife there. I started a month ago. I got to get going on. <laughs> and the different things, pictures and stuff. I have some Ryobi uh, screw guns and sanders up there. I'm not real happy with them. I want to switch over to Rigid, I think, or another brand. Not sure yet. Um, and there's another Marty. See, I, I, that one is a script one. I just typed it into my computer, printed it off, and, and scroll saw it. So you can type in any name or word art on your computer and, uh, yeah, do that. And so that's an example of the, the block font, you know, the, the, the templates I have over there. And that's what it looks like when I make the names out of that. But they have an old clock. A <laughs> very old clock and a Norwegian blessing there it reminds me of my dad and some pictures here there's my dad holding a walleye in front of his camper there's my mom there's me and my honey my wonderful wife Marilyn there's my kids Nikki Hayden and Danny other pictures a picture of Jesus I got at a garage sale somebody sketched that and I got it at a garage sale and put it in a frame some signs I made, a couple more scriptures. I like those scriptures kind of kind of have to do with creating and being a craftsman and working with our hands and woodworking. Um, some signs I carved down there and just some accessories for the scroll saw, tape measures and pens and pencils. Um, and yeah, so yeah, we're almost done here. Um, I have, I need to organize this also. I got uh, nail guns. Um, I have a cheap little compressor here. I want to I wanna organize my nail guns and stuff and get some other air tools someday, but that's what I got for now. And I got a hose reel there, and that's a my scrap bin there, and a garbage can, and I have a broom and dustpan. I got some tool belts hanging up there. If I want to put them on, put on my old tool belt and throw some tools in there and do a project. And I got my fire extinguisher and my torch. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, that's basically it. The middle of the shop here, I have two workbenches. Um, 
and they were usually full of stuff. I try to keep them cleared off, but um, <clears throat> this one here, I have a lot of things here that I have traced out ready to cut. Hugs and Jesus words and different things I like to make. 3D reindeer. Um, when I carve sign or bleh, when I carve spoons, I pre-cut them all on the scroll saw first. So I'll cut them on the scroll saw and then I'll do all the hand carving. Pens and pencils, some other patterns, bits, uh, patterns and rules and yeah, different things here. And I got my coffee cup and my pistachios. Um, over here, I just have some uh, old tools and stuff. I got a whole bunch of knives and chisel. I got a garage sale. Um, here I'm working on intarsia. Um, I like to make the snowman intarsia. That's the pattern there from Judy Gale Roberts and Jerry Boer. There's the actual pattern. Um, so here again, here's an example of how I made a pattern out of uh, eighth inch hardboard. And then I just trace trace the pieces onto wood. So I have all these traced out of different woods. And I'm going to cut all those together and I'm going to make a few intarsias. And it'll look like that. I made those before. I really like snowmen. So yeah, I'm working on those. So I'm I'm always I always have a few projects that I'm working on. <laughs> I'm in the middle of. But that's basically it. That's basically my shop. So I'm gonna end this video. Um hope you liked it. Uh again, uh I don't know if I missed anything. If anybody has any questions, please put it in the comments. A few things I wanna do. Um again I wanna do on the north and east wall, I want to do French cleat system or Andy cleat system and uh, organize that better. Um, I want to eventually, little by little, one by one, switch over to LED lights. And I do have a couple that my, my Uncle Don gave me. I want to get LED lights in here. I want to wire the whole shop. Right now, it's just an extension cord coming in from the garage. <laughs> Everything's plugged into everything. Um, oops, excuse me. <laughs> anyway. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's about it. You know, wire the shop and uh, the cleats on the wall for organizing. Um, I'd like to get a dust collection system. I have a shop back and just clean up once in a while, but should have some form of dust collection. I don't really need any other tools. Um, I would like to get a better table saw, maybe an, uh, a nice older Delta, but we'll see. I wouldn't mind getting a thickness planer someday. I wouldn't mind having a tiny small lathe. I don't know if I really have time or I want to get into that, but that would be kind of fun. Small bands, I would maybe be nice, but I do mostly scroll sign. And uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I like my little shop. Again, I just put it all together myself. It's not perfect, and um, but it's nice. A nice place to come out and hang out and make sawdust and make gifts and uh, yeah. Anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna end this video. It's already been long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. Please. Uh, Give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. I just pray you're all doing well and we'll see you on the next video.